What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is a very exciting one as it's the first in a new series we'll call Mayor Theory. Now, it's no secret that John Mayer is a huge hero of mine, an idol of mine in the music industry. Um, actually saw him last week at the Palladium, which was incredible to see him before the Sob Rock tour. Which leads us to now. Mayor theory. Now, these videos aren't going to be how to play the belief intro, how to play um, so-and-so solo, how to play this. It's not how-to videos. There are a lot of those on YouTube already. These videos are more the theory behind the songs, right? How the songs work as well as what techniques can you do to be able to approach the songs and solo over the songs in certain areas when they require soloing. So the first one we'll look at today is Wild Blue off of the latest album, Sob Rock. We'll see the chords for the chorus and the verse, the solo section, the scale for the solos, as well as finally how you can approach making your own solo over the chord progression. So with all that being said, let's jump into today's video. Well, all right, guys. Today is a new video series we're calling Mayor Theory. And the first song we're looking at today is off of Sob Rock, and that is Wild Blue. So the main goal of these videos is to really see why these songs work and how they work, right? That being said, for Wild Blue, we'll look at the riff, the verse, the chorus, the solo section, and finally, I guess maybe the most important is how to make your own solo, right? What tools do we have that we already know? so that we can loop the chords and jam for hours with this song. So with all that being said, let's dive into the first section, which is the riff. Cool, so first things first, let's check out the opening riff. <laughs> That's very much how John would play that riff. And you could see it on the, I think it was Jimmy Kimmel show when he played that song. The center, tonally wise, how I hear it at least, is very much A minor. Because if you relate it to A minor, you can sort of say you have your one chord, your three chord, your flat six major and four minor chord. Right, let's say that. What's really cool about this chord progression and about a lot of progressions in sob rock actually is that the common tones are a lot in the chords. So several chords may contain two out of the three same notes, but the root is different, if that makes sense. Let me show you. So when it goes from A minor, right? A, C, E, you can play, as he plays, the C major, right? With pinky, root C, eighth fret of the low E string, and then triad with your index finger, fifth fret of the D, G, and B string, right? And what's cool about those two is that A minor and C major are essentially the exact same chords. Just one note separates them. A minor, A, C, E. C major, G, C, E. So 
So all you're changing again is the root. A. That G, which is the fifth degree of the C, indicates now a C major. It then goes to the six major, which is F major, triad, right? To now a D minor, which you can say is the four minor chord. What's cool about this F to D minor chord is, again, they're essentially the exact same chords. F major, you spell F-A-C, right? A-C, F, or F-A-C. And D minor, you spell D-F-A, right? So again, what separates those two is that root D, of D minor and that C, that fifth degree of that F major chord. Now, if we wanted to make this F major chord and this D minor chord more similar, you would just change that D minor to a D minor seven, right? Again, your roots changing, but at that point in the D minor chord, you do also have an F, A, and a C. Right, so a lot of the stuff in Sabrak is a really like that, where he just changes the root of the chord, and there's a lot of common tones between the chords. And that would be the chord progression for the verse. Chorus, G, C, F. Right, let me make a quick camera adjustment and we'll look at the chords for the chorus. Cool, so here is the chords for the chorus section. Three simple chords, nothing crazy. You have your G, C, F. The chords for the chorus are nothing crazy. But what John does do is he does this little chord melody, right? So play this G chord. G, F, C chord. E, D, F chord.
turn around. Right, one more time slower. Something like that. So now we looked at the verse, the chorus, it repeats, and then it goes to the solo section. So let's check that out right now. So before we dive headfirst into the solo section, what's happening, first let's check out the chords beneath the lead guitar. We have our A minor, which if A minor is our home tonality, we could say one minor to our C major, our flat three major, F major, our flat six major, to D minor, our four minor chord, which leads us all to our favorite scale shape, A minor pentatonic. And the solo on the album is strictly, right, all A minor pentaton, right, even the beginning. We'll get to that G in a bit because that's really, really cool, the evolution to get there. So John is strictly playing a minor pentatonic, and he's also including the chord tones, right? Like even, right? F, right? Also the beginning, he does that. dive too much into how to play that because this isn't really a instructional video but the key there is all a minor a minor pentatonic and you can include the ninth degree that B and that flat six So we have the solo section there. I'll play once more. That's probably one of my favorite transitions on the album, right? Because essentially how I hear it at least is that solo is very kind of sad sounding, right? Right? 
And then when it goes to the G, it almost blossoms and resolves itself and says everything is okay. So yeah, this whole idea of soloing an A minor pentatonic and resolving to G, like ah, everything is okay, is really cool. From there it goes to the chorus again. Right, and then it does the transition. Back to the outro solo. So now let's get a loop and see how we can approach this our own way. So to make our own solo, A minor is really our home tonality. Whether that be an A minor pentatonic or A natural minor. Both those work. Right. And like I always talk about on this channel, to get the most in making your own solo, right? I guess guitar wise and dynamics wise, you have to know everywhere you can play a minor pentatonic. Because the more freedom you have, the more you can do, right? Either you can make it super busy solo or less is more solo. There really is no right or wrong answer. So now let's engage the loop and see what cool soloing tips we can come up with. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video, Mayor Theory, Wild Blue. Wild Blue is such a great song from the Sob Rock album, and it was really cool to see it live for the first time at this small stage series at the Palladium. Um, let me know in the comments below what song I should do next in this Mayor Theory series. I mean, there's a lot of albums. There's a lot of songs we can go over. So if you did enjoy today's video, please press like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.